Peace fam, make sure you tune in today. We are going to explore the complete breath, right? Did you know that the lung is broken down into five different parts? And that you only, if you're breathing through the mouth, you're only filling up the top two-fifths of your lungs. Which means you are robbing yourself. Stop robbing yourself. Check out the show. Let's breathe. Don't be a mouth breather. Peace. Oh, great Ujima. ancestors in, bring them out, 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 all right, cool, so, of course, y'all know we got to start with our water, get your water, let's, let's sip a little bit, come on now, remember, stay hydrated, dehydration is a thing, can adjust because you know I used to get up and, and drink water now that I started drinking water regularly uh, it, it really wakes you up mm. All right, I'm gonna drink the last little bit of my ginseng this was my personal stash I ain't forgot about you, Brother Kwame. I probably will start brewing the next batch tonight. So I got a gallon for you. It's coming. All right. So, nice and cloudy. Uh oh, this is old and mature, y'all. I wonder what it's going to do. All right. Here we go. First, call on the creative all your name. You choose to call that creative. We call that great energy into our presence. We call that great spirit to bless and guide us and touch each and last, every last one of us. We toast our creator and we say, Ashe. From there, we move to our personal ancestors. And like I said, don't be shy. You know what I'm saying? Um, throw your ancestors up. Or, you know, you toast them yourself. So we want to salute our personal ancestors. We, don't, we want to salute our grandmothers and our grandfathers, our aunts, our uncles, our friends, 
and our cousins. We want to we want to toast those people that help build who we are today. We want to thank them, and we want to constantly, constantly, constantly remember them. Like I said, I've been haunted by nightmares of 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 of, of hungry ancestors, and I'm I'm doing this to kind of help push that back. So I'm feeding my ancestors with my thoughts. I'm feeding my ancestors with my love so my ancestors can feed into my life and feed into my children's life and hopefully feed into your life and feed into your children's lives. So let's remember them. We toast them and we say, Ashe. From there, we move to this present moment. Today is Ujima. Today, a collective work and responsibility. We're going to be looking for it in the world today rather than looking for Odin we're going to be looking for Ujima. We're going to be looking for uh, uh, cooperative, I mean, collective work. We're going to be looking for opportunities for responsibility. We're going to be looking for when other people have taken responsibilities. So we toast and we say, I say. Now we move to our children, our children's children unto infinity. We understand and we toast um, our children so that one day they may toast us. We understand that what we are doing today will affect our children. So we do it wisely. We do it with intent. We do it with power. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we do it especially wisely. So we toast our children. We toast our children on to infinity. You know what I'm saying? Because especially, we not might not be able to affect the children in infinity, which we do. But we're directly responsible for at least seven generations beyond us. So we toast our children. Last but not least, for any special things that y'all might need our ancestors to intercede upon, we toast that. We, to we toast your struggles. We toast your victories, right? We toast all of the challenges that may be uh, before you. We toast and we drink together right now, and we ask our ancestors to help make the rough places smooth, all right? And we say, I shave. Hold on, where the glass at? I shave. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Shouts out to uh, Miss Sheila and Miss Kim Carswell. Remember, if y'all got ancestors, put them up. I don't, I don't mind toasting. So uh, I'm gonna drink. That's an eye opener. Ooh, man. Tart. Not quite vinegary yet, but tart. So y'all seen me go through this whole bottle. And it took a little while, but we made it. And the medicine lasted. All right. So I want to thank those people that, that joined me on Facebook. I get back to the fam on YouTube. I thank y'all. I love y'all. Thank you for, for tuning in. I will see you, some of y'all will see you tonight for the show on Ujima Tribal Quotes. It's going to be a power, powerful one or two quotes that we're going to run through tonight. Um, and if not, I will see you in the morning. And now back to the YouTube fam. Peace out, fam. I guess it don't want, want me to go. Y'all ready, YouTube? What's up, fam? All right. Remember, we're trying to keep another 30 minutes. So. I don't know why. I'm going to have to write a comment. I don't understand why the image prior to filming is always different than the in actual image of feeling. That makes no sense to me, right? All right, so, of course, you know it's time to do a little supplemental thing, but I need to stress the fact that if you don't have supplements, water and air is all that you need. Let me say water and proper breathing is all you need. Let me say proper water, 
proper breed. Now, although I don't necessarily like the artesian waters, the artesian waters are a lot better than the tap. I'm, I'm going to say that. So, of course, you know, we're going to start with our coconut oil. Running low. Hopefully, we'll make it through. I want y'all to see this. Once again, once again, this is Ohio, y'all. Y'all just seen it yesterday. Y'all just seen it yesterday, right? See, now this is why I might not. This is why I might not start my brew tonight. My barometer is telling me it's not a good time to brew right now. Temperature changes are rough on it on on an ambrosia. Especially when I ain't got heat a heater downstairs like I should. We're gonna get the fat burning process jumping off with just a little bit of these oils. This one right here. We spoke about it, the coconut oil. Go back to the show where we talk where we focus on the coconut oil. Coconut oil out the way. Now, we're going to use the red palm oil. seed oil, man. Mmm. Damn, a black seed oil dropping. Mm, mm, mm. Alright. So, y'all ready? So, what are we going to do today? So, today I am on this week I am on the breathing kick. I know a lot of y'all like, brother, damn man, we go. All right, so now for those that's taking the Google Sabbath Challenge, I have sent you another Ashe Breath um, breathing tutorial um, where I go through step two of the Ashe Breath. But now back to the breathing. Yesterday we talked about how mouth breathing, breathing, is killing you, right? So now, what we're going to talk about today is the what they call the yogi complete breath, the proper way of breathing, right? For those of you that just watch me on YouTube, so I want to make sure that you have what you need so that you know how to take a complete breath. All right. So first thing first, we don't breathe out the mouth. Okay. Now we could blow out. You know what I'm saying? Some people do that. But the ultimate breathing is cool air in, slightly warm air out. Because the nose is incredible. Because when you take the air in through the nose, once, once again, I'm going to go through this. Once you take the air in through the nose, the air go up into the nose, into your sinuses. And by the time it gets to here, is warmer right and by the time it gets to your lungs it's almost at 98.6 degrees if not at 98.6 degrees so by the time it runs through here it's at a certain temperature and by the time it gets all the way down here and splits off maybe up here somewhere splits off into your lungs it's 98.6 degrees the body is incredible this is an incredible tool that we have and we are really leaving a lot of money on the table when we don't learn how to master our shell, learn how to use the tool that we was given, right? So I'm not going to necessarily take my shirt off. But when we breathe in through the nose, the belly automatically, the air automatically is pulled 
down to the lowest to the lowest part of our lungs. And the belly swells. Okay? Now, with the belly swelling, right? That's part one of the complete yogic breath. So now, we're going to do the yogic breath. So, the, it, part one is just breathing through the nose. Part two is we're going to move to this phase right here. Now, we allow the rest of the lung to fill. And then part three, we're going to get this part. You ever see that? So it's not actually three breaths. It's supposed to happen in once in one smooth in once one fell swoop. But you got you got lung down here. You got lung up in here. You got lung up here. Three parts. Alright, so we're gonna breathe. That's the complete breath. Alright? At least that's the first part of the complete breath. Now what are we doing? We are filling up the total lung. Now, majority of us have not been filling our total lung. Most of us have been filling the top two thirds. Actually, they split the lung into five different five different parts. So, actually, some of us have only been getting the top two, level one, level two, right? So, <gasps> we getting that, right? That's all we get, right? It's incredible. So we are leaving. We are leaving benefits, health benefits on the table. So we are only, by mouth breathing, we are only getting two, third, two fifths of what we need. And it's free, right? How, how are we walking away from something as powerful as a breath. You know, like I say, because we eat food, you can skip a meal. You know what I'm saying? You can skip a meal. You can skip some water for a day or so. But you can't skip air. Right? I mean, I'm, you know, but we're going to talk about that. Because you may need to push away from the air table for just a little bit, right? Right? So here we go. So we're going to take a complete breath. So it starts down here and then it rolls up all the way to where we're trying to fill up the very top. So chest comes out, belly comes out, and we take the complete breath and we hold. Now that was wrong. What was I supposed to blow out of? Right. Right. We're trying to keep it strictly nosy. Alright? <clears throat> you see the subtle change? Alright. So. Because I can't bring you no closer, man. This it won't work, right? All right, so with the complete breath. Now, what we're going to talk about now is the cleansing breath. Now, this is this is just one of many breath exercises that we, we, we will go through. I already gave you our major breath exercise, right? So then I'm, now I'm going to talk about, I'm going I'm to talk about the whole oxygen piece to one of some of the things that we might need to start being able to do. Now, some of you who are just now learning the proper way of breathing and you just now being able to get the belly that's good right so now i want you to get the bottom the bottom um let's say the bottom three-fifths involved in the process of breathing for you all right for those of you that's a little bit more advanced let's get the top two-fifths involved too Some of you, you gonna start because it's new. You gonna start feeling a little bit lightheaded because now you're taking in extreme more um, 
portion of air into your body. So now you might start feeling a little bit lightheaded. So breathe with me. Come on. And I'm being loud to be dramatic so that you can hear it. So actually, it's like. <clears throat> All right, so now let's move to the cleansing breath. Because a lot of times what happens is. That we have old air, whether it's uh, oxygen or carbon dioxide resting inside. So in the yogic breath, they got an exercise called the cleansing breath. All right. And basically what's going to happen is you're going to take a breath, whether you are able to fill up your whole lung or just the bottom um, um, three fifths. Right. You're going to. You're going to blow out like you're blowing a trumpet. You're going to tighten your lips. And you're going to force all the air up. You're just not going to poke. You're not going to puff your cheeks. You're going to keep it tight. And blow out slow. So let's try it together. We're going to breathe in. And we're going to hold. Then we're going to blow. What, what this is doing, this is help forcing all of the air out. Alright, so let's do it one more time together. I need to, let me, all right, full breath. Now, at the end of that breath, in between all breaths, what we want to do is we want to hold, all right? So now, because what we're trying to train our body to do is we're trying to train our body to get the maximum benefit from the air. Just like we're supposed to chew our food to make sure that we're able to help break it down because the first part of digestion is the eating, is the chewing. And the saliva is getting into the food to help break it down before it goes down the throat into the stomach. The same thing with the air. We want to take time. So when we breathe in, we want to give it time. Especially when we're doing conscious breathing. Cleansing breath. Sure that belly swell up. We take that breath back in. Now, now this is the reason why. 
when we breathe in, we're taking in oxygen, especially through the nose. We're taking in extremely more oxygen, cleaner oxygen, oxygen that has um, nitric ni nitric ox oxide in it as well. And nitric oxide not only helps purify the air, but it sends a signal out to open up all of the blood vessels, right? So now this is the this is the power of breathing. This is the power of what goes on. You got as an adult, they say you got somewhere around a hundred thousand miles of blood vessels, right? And we are not allowing all these blood vessels to be active in the way we're breathing. <gasps> Some of us are breathing through our mouth, don't even know it. Even in our sleep. It's only up here. So we're not working the entire surface area of the lung, right? So what we're trying to do is work the entire surface area of the lung and let the air, let the blood that's flowing in to the lungs be able to expose to as much oxygen as it possibly can and carry the oxygen throughout the body, right? But now what we're doing is, because we're breathing so fast sometimes, we're not giving our body time to extract the oxygen from it. So sometimes we hold our breath. Like every now and then I want you in your conscious breathing, I want you to get conscious of your breathing. Man, I, I'm breathing through my mouth. Let me... Breathe through my nose. I want you to breathe in. And I want you to hold it. Just for, just for a couple of seconds. When you breathe out. I want you to hold it. Hold it until your body. You know what I'm saying? Until your body says it's time to breathe. And then get to a point to where you're able to hold it beyond that, right? Because your your body is holding out on you, family. Now, I want y'all to understand, it is, it is the human body's job to figure out ways to save energy, right? So, the human body is going to try to make you be as lazy as possible. I know that sounds crazy, right? But it's like, it's trying to conserve energy, Right, so it has automatic functions inside of it that that try to get you to do certain things. And breathing out or taking air in, right, is this way. We got plenty of it, so we might as well go on and just have surplus. So we want our blood level, in a sense, to go down as far as the oxygen level, right? We want the oxygen level and our blood level to kind of get consumed before we take another air in, right? Because that unleashes especially for us that's working out those of you that's working out it allows your muscles to get a more um more oxygen while you're working out it helps fat it hate it helps fight lactic acid buildup all right it helps your body be able to to process something and also also when we're holding our breath and we're gonna get into this a little bit a little bit more um later on as we start dwelling into the power of breathing the way into the subconscious is through the breath and through manipulation of your breath so you're going to need to learn how to hold your breath so let's do the cleansing breath one more time and we're going to remember the, the whole breath you don't do this all the time right every now and then during you consciously you're going to take your breath and i'm just do the whole thing ready
And that was just a regular breath. But notice that I'm slowing it down on purpose. So what happened is as you start holding your breath, your body starts sending you signals. Y'all might hear it. I can hear it inside. I don't know if y'all can hear it outside yet because I got to go back and review the video. But my, my throat start popping, right? I start hearing something in my ear like, <coughs> my body's like, come on, breathe, 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 breathe. But you, your, your, your blood is saturated with oxygen. And you want to you want it to release the oxygen stores. You want it to start you want to start learning how to get it to release the oxygen stores. And as we start getting better, we're gonna get more in tune with our own body and through our body and through us learning to in a sense control our bodies, um, in a sense desires or or automatic system, we are going to be able to get into the subconscious. We are going to be able to get into the healing potentials of our body through our breath. Of course, we got to eat right. Of course, we got to drink the right water, right? But we can, in a sense, not, we can hack our own body system. We can hack our body through the breath, right? Of course, all those other things come in, but through the breath, we can directly hack the system, all right? So now, remember the full breath. Well, first, the proper breath. Yep, you get every time. When you breathe through the nose. I know for some of y'all that's strange, right? But hey, get it. And the only way you're going to do it right now is first by... Telling yourself, I gotta be breathing through my nose. Then, even when we're breathing through our nose regularly, every now and then we gotta hold conscious, become conscious of your breath. A lot of carbon dioxide do what it's supposed to do. It's not a useless gas. Don't be listening to people when they say that. It's not a useless waste gas. It's a gas that turns on certain functions in your body. And one of the functions is that it communicates with the hemoglobin in your blood, which is the part of your blood that holds air. And the amount of carbon dioxide in your blood the amount of carbon dioxide in your body tells your body to release the oxygen stores. It has to do with that pH balance as well because the more carbon dioxide you have inside of you, the closer your body comes to um, that, um, that, that acidic state, right? And it starts, it forces your body to release oxygen to help move it, move that pH balance back, right? bring it back into balance, right? Which in a sense is what causes your body to move towards alkaline. Now, some of y'all drinking water to get alkaline, some of y'all eating food to get alkaline, but nobody is talking about how your breath moves you to alkaline, right? You're breathing and you doing things in the right way and getting your body to release oxygen internally helps your body become more alkaline as well. Brings it in balance. All right, so this is Brother Hot Tim. I want to thank y'all for watching. I didn't want to take off the shirt, but I had to do it. Last thing, let's do one more full breath and then we out here. Ready? All together, go.
full one. Now, let's do a full one with a cleansing breath. Give signals to breathe, and that's cool, right? But the issue and the thing for you is to kind of listen to them, right? At first, you don't listen to them, you're gonna have to. Then you'll become more conscious of them, and as you keep on going, you're gonna be able to hold your breath just a little bit longer, right? A little bit longer, a little bit longer. Then in our shape breath, we really start dealing with the breath regulation, right? So, this is Brother I Tim. I want to thank you for tuning in. With that, I say, peace. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you, right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there. Peace.